Hi, I haven't vlogged in a while. I'm dealing with a lot of stuff here, health issues and administrative stuff and professional stuff, and it's necessary. And I had intended to slow down vlogging after February of this year. Anyway, um, I want to give a shout out to a new channel that, I mean, it's a new subscription for me. It's not a new channel, I don't think. It's Tecelo100, T-E-C-E-L-O-100. And um, he's very articulate, uh, very thoughtful. He has a video up recently called We Are the One Percent. And it's about how Americans really uh, do consume the lion's share of the world's resources. And so in a way, whether you're rich or poor, and you're American, um, and in the United States, you are sort of a 1%. Very interesting, very interesting clip, and I'm enjoying looking at the comments on it. Um, he did ask me what, I, what my take is on, uh, oh, the European situation right now, and I said, well, you know, tempest in a teacup kind of thing. Um, I don't listen to mainstream media hardly ever anymore. And what I see on alternative media, uh, I have my doubts about a lot of it, really. Uh, which is good, you know. I don't just swallow it down. <laughs> you know, I try to uh, sift through it and check out stuff. Um, I don't think that a lot of Americans have my perspective on Europe, not only because I live here now permanently and have since 94, but because they're not as old as I am. I'll be 55 next month, and I've lived through five major recessions on two continents, and um, I've had a very My CV is very full. It's a pretty good CV. A lot of different stuff on my CV. Um, doesn't make me a genius, but I do have quite a bit of experience in some different areas. What I don't think a lot of Americans realize is that by the time I moved to France, the economy was really stagnant here, and it had been since the 80s. France had something called les temps glorieux, which were from about the mid-1950s until about the mid-1980s, the 30 glorious years of near full employment and expansion. If you didn't like a job, you could politely quit at the end of the day during your trial period and be pretty sure to find something else uh, rather quickly. Immigrants were no problem. Uh, uh, there, were, there was plenty of work here, uh, hard, low-paying physical work, uh, which people could come here and do. Uh, it wasn't a big deal to establish residency, residency here and to work declared. Um, so the bad recession that I experienced from about 1987 until about 1993 in New York City was still lingering when I got here to France in 94. And uh, it was a, quite a stagnant economy, really. Uh, things got a little bit overheated here very briefly in the late 90s. And then the dot-com bubble burst in 2000. And that was the last full-time salaried work I've ever had. Uh, also, when you're over 40 here in France, you know, good luck finding a job. I've just been able to find short-term contracts uh, since that time. And uh, I've been underemployed or even unemployed. But I, I try never to give up. Um, and I have a new small business, which I'm trying to establish myself now. Uh, I don't know how that's going to go. This will be the second time I've had a, a business. So just bear in mind, please, that um, I've seen bad recessions in the United States before. I've lived through them. 
Some of them were very long, very, very long. Most of the 1970s, I can recall, was just horrible, absolutely horrible. And try not to panic. Hope that makes sense.